Today, we're diving into dark academia, and that is a design trend that I am super excited to discuss, considering I kind of have that going on here. <laughs> it's another maximalist style, one that's very moody in nature, and it really embraces that um, academia slash Hogwarts kind of mystical, mysterious, almost gothic-like, um, you know, meets collegiate style. And I just really love it. I feel like a few of the styles I've talked about recently are really interesting, you know, like the steampunk style getting into the Victorian era. And I feel like this is really elaborating on that. And I've done a, quite a few now of these, you know, maximalist themed styles. So I think I've got to create a little playlist for you guys. So you can just go through all of them because they're all really great. So this style has been around for a couple years now. I believe it kind of started on TikTok actually, which I was like, oh, interesting. I mean, it's just merging of a lot of different kind of looks that we're seeing um, that are progressing, I should say, in the trend area. That being said, it is definitely not going anywhere. Like it's, I think, built up really slowly where now we're talking about it more, but it's definitely a trend that we're seeing more and more common with the darker tones and just maximalism in general of having more things. So this is a take on that and I'm going to go over how we can get this look because I really love this one. This one, I say that about all of them. <laughs> Pretty much anything maximalist I'm all over, but I really love this one mostly because one of the key features is books. And I think if you've watched a couple of these by now, you have come to realize that I like me some books. <laughs> now, how do we bring this into the home? There are some commitment things with this one. <laughs> one of the key elements, it's right in the title, dark, dark academia. So you have to be willing to embrace a dark color palette. Now, I love me a good dark color palette, um, but I mean, that's a big commitment for some people. So that's one of the things with this is to really embrace dark paint colors. So when we're thinking about paint, we're thinking about those darker hues. For more of a timeless aesthetic, maybe considering something like dark grays or charcoal would be great for your space. If you want to bring in more color, think of stuff like that really dark forest greens that we're seeing or even that dark navy blue palette. For some drama in your space, think about, you know, consider painting some walls black or even a really dark, rich brown color. And if you do want to, I'm going to say, quote unquote, brighten your space, like brighten that dark walls that you've put in place, because a lot of times with dark academia, you'll actually see a lot of monochromatic themes. But if you do want to brighten it up a bit with your accessories and your furniture, you might want to bring in some accents with dark oranges, golds, and burgundies. And my first thought is like velvets. So I feel like we've had this conversation a few times, but dark academia also is one of those styles where you really want to create a story. You want to create a space that has something to say. What makes this trend super interesting is that it has a really mysterious look to it while also being very grand in its statement. What you'll find is that spaces that fall under dark academia definitely tend to have a fantasy-like quality to it. You'll want to embrace not only those darker colors that I mentioned, but also the historical design aesthetics to really bring this look together. So when you're bringing items into the space, you really want to think about embracing items that have a lot of character that will really be a great starting point for a conversation. What's awesome about this style is that if you have really awesome hand-me-downs, especially if they're good quality antiques or vintage items, or if you even just go out and source vintage items from your local antique shop, this is where you can really embrace bringing in a, sustainable products, but B, really interesting and um, unique pieces that will help curate that story that you want for this space. We're really seeing a trend of embracing much better quality handmade pieces that are gonna last the test of time. 
We're also seeing a really big re um, investment into, you know, good quality antique pieces and vintage items and just overall embracing items that are really, really meant to last and are built to, um, you know, hold up and not just be replaced in a few years time. And even if your style changes over time, you know, a can of paint is really inexpensive, but maybe that really good quality sofa or table or sideboard that you've invested in, that will go with you no matter what your aesthetics, you know, do represent, which is what I love about a lot of these maximalist styles. So one of the key points with dark academia, we talked about the dark, but now we got to talk about the academia because those two go together. And there's a reason why it's called dark academia. And that's because of books. <laughs> One of the key elements is to really embrace books in this space, because how can it be dark academia if you don't have anything that's related to like learning, right? Like that's just, that just goes hand in hand. So I personally, I mean, I love books. I have my little mini library here, but in my heart of hearts, I would love to have a home that could have a full library. And when I think of, you know, dark academia, I think of like one of those old, like the New York public library or like from, you know, the Harry Potter series, if you're into that, but that really historical, beautiful, like grandiose, um, library. Now, of course we can't all do that in our homes, but thinking about those vintage looking books and, you know, maybe not like what I have going on, but more like a leather bound books, bringing those into your space. If you have like a collection of, uh, vintage books that you have definitely displaying those or sourcing them out from like a really interesting, you know, vintage bookstore, sometimes antique shops, you'll find them, or even, you know, like really wherever you can find something that's pre-loved, you might be able to find some really awesome, you know, classic items, classic books, sorry, classic literature to put into your space. What's interesting about the books is you can obviously display it very classically on bookshelves, but you can also really embrace, you know, having them stacked up or having them in or having them, you know, on a sideboard or standing like a stack of them kind of off to the side that almost acts as like a side table. There's lots of ways to embrace books within the space. And again, because it is a maximalist look, you can really kind of embrace a little bit more of a unstructured vibe with the literature. I think that will really add to the overall look, especially if you have like those leather bound books. Oh, that just looks so fantastic. So some additional accessories that you can bring in to really help elevate the dark academia look, bringing things in like antique portraits. These are items that you can usually find at, you know, an antique shop. I've gone to Southworks a few times and seen some of these antique portraits. Perhaps the frame might not be quite right, but you could always spray it in a beautiful gold to like really help elevate the look, but you can really make it interesting in a space if you style it just right, adding in a few other elements to really give it like that old world, old library vibe. Some other accessories that you can consider for the space would be Persian rugs. They really do have that old, um, there's something about them that in this type of look, it really just feels like, oh, there's a room for it. Like the, like a clubhouse, like where they like very high end, you know, like those, I don't know, they sit around in their big leather chairs, smoking their cigars, drinking their whiskey. I don't know what that's called, but that's what I picture in my head. So the Persian rugs are definitely another item that you can bring into this space. It really helps give some depth and dimension. And again, layering, which I talk often about how important layering is to really help, you know, elevate a space as well as thinking about your curtains and bringing in velvets. This is one of those looks where you can go really, really heavy and ornate with your fabrics and velvets really read very, very well. And using those beautiful, dark, rich, luxurious colors will really help um, give dimension to this space. And again, you wanna think accentuating the height of your space. So bring the curtains up as high as you can, have them really nice and long, maybe even pooling a little bit on the bottom will work for this look. So again, it's that moodiness that you wanna bring in. 
Also, accessories like chandeliers, and like, I mean like a real proper chandelier. I That would look fantastic with this style. Think of those globes. We talked about them with the steampunk style. So bringing in the globe, antique globes. Think about bringing in candlestick holders, ornate frames in gold, wood, or black are really gonna help emphasize this look within your space. And if you're willing and you're not faint of heart for this one, because I don't know, but then again, I think it would really work and we do see this, you know, happening. So, but bringing in um, like some taxidermy or some animal skulls, but like the right, like I think of like that white horned thing that you see sometimes, like that would look really cool in this look. Taxidermy, I don't know exactly what you could bring in. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, cat, not a cat cat, but like a cheetah, not a cheetah. I don't know, something. I've seen, I can see something that might work in my brain, but I can't think of it. So I'll just include images. But yeah, stuff like that, again, it's that story. Remember, we're creating like a mysterious vibe to this space and I don't know why, but I could see how that would work. I could. So another thing that looks really beautiful with this look, and I feel like we use it in a lot of look, and that is the use of marble. Now, marbles are very common staples in many design styles, but a nice bold and heavy marble will really work well into this style as well. And I think that's what's really nice about uh, beautiful marble pieces is that they do really last the test of time and they can kind of ebb and flow into different styles, but you can really incorporate some beautiful marbles into this look. So I briefly touched on it, but when we're thinking about furniture in the dark academia style, we definitely want to think about leathers. So think about like a Chesterfield sofa in a beautiful caramel, deep caramel leather or high back chairs. So definitely embracing like that coziness factor as well. I think one of the things with dark academia kind of like a library, you want to like be able to like old school library, you want to like nestle in and like be able to sit somewhere for a really long time to like do your thinking and your pondering and you're solving the problems of the world. I don't know. I just went somewhere there. Okay. Back to, <laughs> back to this. Overall, you want your woods to be dark and you want them to be almost heavier heavier in feel and texture and like you just, you want that more heavy presence to the pieces within your space. That, you know, Scandinavian like light airy doesn't work in this look. Like we don't want light woods at all in dark academia. It really goes against dark academia, AKA dark academia. So one of the key elements, one of my favorite parts about this look is obviously the antiques and vintage items that you can bring in. I think what's really fun is that you could have really beautiful, like if you have a wall where you could do floor to ceiling bookcases, like wall to wall, end to end, and you have all your beautiful antique books and then also your antique items. So having, you know, the ornate photo frames, the candle holders, the flower vases, just really bringing in a lot of those vintage and antique items to really, you know, maximize, maxim, maximize, <laughs> to really maximize the look. And I think you also want to, you know, to add in with this look is to really think about adding in like that um, vintage weathered type of antique stuff, you know, thinking about things like aged oaks or patinaed items will really, really help elevate this style. So one of the things I do want to touch on is bringing in natural materials. I briefly touched on marble, but also just touching on woods. So when you are doing dark academia, it could definitely feel heavy. So you want to make sure that you're bringing in some natural materials because it definitely helps um, balance out this look, I would say. And you know, there's one that came up when I was doing my research and it was called Pippi Oak and it has a really interesting texture to it. And I like that about it because it adds that like little bit of extra dimension to the piece. So finding like a big Pippi Oak table or using it somewhere would really be a nice addition to your dark academia space. And I think that's what, um, you know, a lot of the items that you see is very dark, obviously with the color palette. 
and then we have the leathers and the metals and we just need that natural material like a wood to really soften up the space but you really want to make sure that the wood has a lot of character as well because you just need that little bit of extra dimension to like I think really elevate it and last but not least is lighting now this is a moody look, so the lighting is moody. If you have the ability to have dimmers on your lights, that's always great because you're able to then, you know, set the mood for say when you're entertaining or really wanting to embrace that vibe, but also bringing in candles. I personally love candles, but I don't like the real ones. I just have the battery ones because I have a five-year-old and I just, nerves you know so i have those and they look great and having those kind of around and just having a different uh layers of lighting so we've talked about that many times but thinking about your ambient accent and task lighting and making sure that you kind of embrace all of those so that you're able to add that extra dimension to your dark academia space if you guys enjoyed today's video i highly recommend you go check out the maximalist playlist i've got a whole bunch of different maximalist styles incorporated in that playlist so if you like this one you'll probably like that one so definitely hop on over to that next and until next time Bye.